Alright guys, we're uh, here at West Army Tech today in our motorcycle power sports lab. We're uh, really, this is going to be like part three of our brake bleeding uh, demonstrations. Um, today guys, your first time to be showing you this tool. <coughs> this is a, a, a brake bleeder, a one person brake bleeder. Um, we always joke about Harbor Freight, but they've definitely been a save the day. Um, you guys, we talked about SBS brake pads. They were one of the first companies that I saw that sold one of these. Um, type of tools, uh, you know, your snap on Max, all those guys sell something like this. But basically, we're going to be able to take compressed air, uh, regulate compressed air, pu uh, pull it on here. You can pull the trigger and even lock this down. And what that's going to do is create a vacuum through here and suck the fluid into this container. And just like we, uh, the last demo, we've taken these and put these on the brake bleeders and then put all our brake fluid into this container. But we had to push the brake fluid into these, right? On this one here, we're going to suck it in, and all we really have to do is monitor that we don't let the reservoir go empty. That's the idea. That uh, while this is sucking in here, once you start to see that it's solid brake fluid, what you're able to do, <coughs> excuse me, is just simply close your bleeder and then and then let your air off, and you shouldn't have any air in the system, and you should have immediate brakes right away. Does that make sense? Now, the reason we picked this uh, GSXR 1000. As yesterday, we were really having a hard time <coughs> excuse me, getting this to bleed. One of the big problems was there was a banjo bolt that wasn't quite tight from having it disassembled. The master cylinder has been overhauled. The calipers have been removed and overhauled. So we're going to make an attempt to see how this works today. And uh, we're just going to simply start with the master cylinder bleeder right now. And I'm going to instruct these guys what to do. So first off, we're going to uh, uh, make sure our reservoir is full. Zach, you'll take and uh, we've got eight millimeter of wrench here. Just get prepped and ready. Now, uh, <clears throat> I really recommend you guys watching our YouTube channel to make sure you watch the other videos when we're talking about a topic because we don't repeat every single procedure in each video. But one of the things I will say in this one is that we make a deal about making sure use the closed end of the wrench on your brake bleeders so that you have some real control to open and close it. If you're doing this and the wrench slips off and all of a sudden it's open now, you're going to end up putting air back into the system. So we want to make sure that we uh, are ready to go here. We have tons of soapy water uh, sprayed all over this vehicle here so that we aren't getting any brake fluid contamination uh, on the vehicle. We do the mirrors, we do the gauges which it looks like we didn't, right? Or it's just dried up on us. Uh, that brake fluid, when it splatters, DOT 3 or 4 eats paint like crazy. So we're good and full. Go ahead. And what's cool about this, let me see if we can get a close-up of this. Do you see how the, the tool itself comes with some different adapters? We've kind of just got all our brake, uh, brake parts in this one. some different hangers so that you can hang the lines. What the idea of this is, is this is more for an auto application where you can fill this up with brake fluid. You can create a controlled slow leak. Does that make sense? You don't have to dump the valve wide open, but you can just open it a little bit, and now you can walk to the back of your vehicle or whatnot and actually bleed the brakes all by yourself. Pretty cool. Just, just an example, and you know what, if, if SBS Brakes wants to donate theirs, and, and theirs might be a better tool, maybe it is, but at l the last time I knew, uh, to buy the SBS one was over 200 bucks. Okay, guys, you, this is going to shock you. This from Harbor Freight is like $30, I mean, for everything here, so it's, it's a pretty awesome tool. Uh, <clears throat> you want to use some caution on this. This is the whole success to this, this rubber nipple here. When this snaps over the bleeder here, <coughs> if this starts to get loose, you're going to be, you're going to lose uh, your vacuum capability, and then the tool's not going to work very good. But at thirty dollars, if you've bled a thousand pair of brakes and have to go buy another one of these for this, I don't think that's such a bad deal, is it? No. Okay. <coughs> Let's go ahead and hook that up. <coughs> so he's just getting, it, I see how he's getting it snapped on there. Now he can just go ahead and open the. About the whole open and close, you just open the bleeder. Okay, now you're gonna pull the trigger. While you're 
your water. You just keep the keep the air pressure going and close the bleeder. There shouldn't be any air in that, at least this part of it right now. <clears throat> now, since everything else is tight, we're just gonna see if we have any feel or anything here. We're not. I'm not feeling any brake pressure whatsoever right now. So now we're gonna start and move down to the wheels them or to the brake caliper <clears throat> themselves. <clears throat> we got a couple more eight millimeter wrenches, so we don't have to share. You go ahead and top it off. <clears throat> you know, it's just like we've done in uh, the other videos. If you allow this reservoir to, uh, to go dry, you're immediately sucking air through the system and you have to start over. That's our big thing is we do not want to have uh, any uh, air into the system. <clears throat> good hope that they rebuilt that caliper master cylinder right. So now we'll flip, uh, flip to the other side. Why don't you give a feel for that because you felt it before, didn't you? You got brake fluid leaking? <laughs> Let's check it out. Now it's a good opportunity. Since we're building some pressure, we're going to go ahead and see where we're leaking from. We lost all our pressure. Well, unfortunately, this caliper isn't put together right. The O-ring might have slipped or something because we're leaking out of the middle of the caliper. And that would make sense why yesterday we were bleeding and bleeding and bleeding and bleeding manually. And since we really couldn't get the air out fast enough, it was just we were defeating the purpose to where <clears throat> the little bit of gain that we would have by us pumping the lever we were losing it, not building enough pressure to be able to see the leak. Does that make sense? So realistically, you guys got a good grasp on how the tool works. We were able to build that pressure. <clears throat> we found our leak. We know what to go repair. But to completely do the system, we would switch it over to the other caliper, get all the air out of the system, and that's a really fast way to bleed brakes, especially if you're working by yourself. And that's it for this demo. <clears throat>